Hello, welcome to Kuro, your little game developed by VMU, available on itch.io. And well, apparently we suffer from amnesia, and we visit a shrine every night in our heads. I guess we'll see what that means. Yes, little content warning though. This is a horror game, so there may be some disturbing elements. So your discretion is advised. Many moons ago, my memories were murdered. That's one way of saying that. You know, I mean, one way of saying amnesia. Uh, awaken in a hospital with a new life to start. In my restless dreams, I keep coming back to this place. <laughs> That's a Silent Hill reference. This is a one-to-one -one Silent Hill reference. Uh, tomorrow won't be the same. My restless dream. I, I tend to also make that reference, but that's just a direct reference. That's just like, you're just quoting Silent Hill uh, 2, I believe, right? It was the second one. With like, uh, James. Anyway. Alright. We are Kuro! Hmm. Kinda like, uh, what is it? The um, Jianxi? What do you call it? The Chinese vampire? Chinese vampire slash zombie, I don't know. Something like that. Can we go back? Can I leave? No, I guess not. Anyway, it's pretty cute. Kind of like uh, this game is kind of like, you know, it's doing the whole retro PlayStation, you know, graphic style. What in sign? The sign reads, Shigeto Shrine. Or the shrine? No, the sign. The, sh the sign reads, Shigeto Shrine. The shrine? The sign. That's over here. Tombstone. An old tombstone. The name Mew has been carved in it. Hmm. Oh, we know, I guess. Oh, oh weird. <laughs> it becomes like first person. Yeah. A sudden, like, change. Like, first person. We go, like, a particular. If you go to a particular spot. What was that? Okay, back to first person. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> a strange camera. Uh, hmm, pedestal. A wooden pedestal. Something seems to be missing. Hmm. Well, let's go over here. Oh boy, it's tank controls. Classic horror game tank controls. Kind of smiling, by the way. Why are we so happy? I don't know. Uh, let's go in here. And we're inside. A wooden door leading to the basement. It is locked. Well, can't go there, I guess. A mirror? The door has been firmly shut. Numerous seals are placed upon it. Write something? No. Nothing happened. Yeah. Well, it looks like there's a mirror, though. But, well, that's a mirror. The sealed door is on the left, actually. Look. This is a sealed door. This is a mirror, but you can't really interrupt the mirror. Where's my shotgun? <laughs> you know, I'm gonna kill zombies? Uh, bookshelf. An impressive collection of dusty books. Most of them are in terrible condition. They are mostly about spiritual topics. They all belong to Father Shigeto. A single one of them is about a gardening and or is about gardening and burying. Hmm. Well, they say like if you want to bury a body, you just gotta like plant an endangered species of plant on it, and therefore it's illegal to dig it up or something. <laughs> I don't think that actually works though. I don't think that's actually how. It works. Anyway, um, that's kind of it. I don't have anything to do here, it seems like. Write something. Okay. What about, instead of no, what about Miyu? Something happened. There you go. Okay. So that was a hint. I thought Miyu was just, I thought it was a lore tidbit, <laughs> you know? It wasn't actually part of like a puzzle or anything, but it actually was. You had to put Miyu in the door. And, you know. Hmm. Well, this doesn't look ominous at all. Flame spirit. No, it's just a flame spirit. 
No, just a typical flame spirit. Did that scare you? It wasn't my intention. My name is Miyu. So, what's your business here? Pillage this shrine's treasure? Uncover its secrets? Just kidding. I know what you came in here for. I know who you are. As you can probably tell, I am no longer part of this world. I'd like you to find my body so I can move on. I do not remember much, so I don't have a lot of clues for you. I'll tell you everything about who you are if you help me. It must remain somewhere within the walls of the shrine. Please, be careful, however. We're not alone here. I need to rest for now. I'll let you transport me. Okay. The flamesphere has turned into a lantern. How do I... Okay. Oh, that's, okay, that's strange. I mean, the prompt said it was to interact with the sealed door, actually, so I thought I had to get closer or something. A uh, rusty old lantern. Light it emits soothes your soul. I got lantern. Notorio. Inventory. Press tab to open your inventory. Press spacebar to equip. Press tab again to close. Okay. Actually, what does that say on our thing, actually? The little, like, um, you know, the little seal, I guess, on our forehead. Uh, not really on our forehead, I guess. Like, hat. Um, I don't know. Ninu. I can't read the first character. What is that? I can't see. It's hard to tell. I'm not sure what that character is. I think this, is, this looks Japanese. Kind of like Hiragana. Not sure. Well, anyway. Well, let me get our lantern. I'm on page two. It's on page one. Yeah. Equipped. I have the power of lantern. It's on the floor, by the way. Is that blood? Is this Chris's blood? I hope this isn't Chris's blood. A wooden door. A tight knot is around the handle. Only Sharp could cut it. Hmm. Well, we need a knife, I guess. To go into the blood room. Do we want to go into the blood room? Also, what was that? Hello? Well, at least the main character is happy. Look, look at her. I'm happy. Big smile. The library? Over here? That's blocked off. Weird book. The disassociation ritual. On the 13th day of the 12th month, a maiden. Cut up from the outside world for ten years, shall be torn apart. Her head and body shall be separated by a ceremonial knife. Then, a circle shall be drawn using the maiden's blood. Her body parts are to be disposed in a circle. Doing so would trade the maiden's soul for peace with demons. The rest of the text is undecipherable. Something slips off the pages. Received. Basement key. Okay, you can go to the basement. Apparently, there's something to do with, uh, oh, what the heck is that? Hello? Hello? Uh, um, hello? <laughs> Alright, don't worry about that. <laughs> okay. Just, like, some random doppelganger just touched us. Don't worry about it. Nothing happened. Anyway. Apparently, there was a strange ritual involving a maiden and ripping part their head and body, I guess. The sacrifice to the demons. Hmm. Well. Anything else, actually? Doesn't look like it. I, I guess it just goes back. Just go this way. That, that part was just a library. Uh, it was like a study room. Let's go back this way. You know, that's like 13 years of bad luck. I think. I keep saying that wrong. You know, every time I mention mirrors breaking, I always say, like, the, the wrong number of years. What is it? Like, seven years bad luck, right? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how many years of bad luck. Let's just say several. Several years of bad luck. Anyway, basement door. You use the basement key. Hooray! You don't have to do the thing, like, in, in PlayStation era games where you gotta, like, shuffle your inventory before you can actually use the key in the door. Amazing. Oh, TV. I didn't realize we have access to technology here. 
low hum is coming off the TV. Oh, okay. Suddenly we're in the TV. Interesting. Oh. And those power lines. Loading trees. Very, uh, very surreal so far. You know, it has a bit of a, like a horror element to it, but also a bit surreal. I mean, obviously this one in particular. That reminds me of, uh, what was that game? LSD, you know, LSD Dream Simulator or something. Uh, everyone was head over heels for her. Through her mere presence, she drives people into jealous rage. They often led to brutal acts of violence among the priests of the shrine. Her skin was just like silk. Alive. Young. Pure. If only she would have seen me as more than a guard. Everything was fine until that man came and took her heart. When I found her corpse, her head was missing. I finally had an opportunity to have a piece of her. I had to take her heart, just like that man did when she was alive. This alone didn't quench my hunger. I had to taste her flesh. To get closer to her than any man could ever have. When I think about it, you look a lot like her. Uh... Cool, thanks. Oh, okay, I can move now. Okay. I, was, I was waiting, I couldn't move. Um... Right. Hanging out? Give me that knife. A sharp knife. Receive knife. You know, yeah, this definitely does remind me of Yumi Nikki as well. I mean, just the eyes as well, you know? Just like little chipified people with little, these little eyes. It, it's very, um, Yumi Nikki, <laughs> you know? He dropped something. I should probably use it. Okay. Power of knife. Use the knife and open his belly. Uh, yeah, use the knife and open his belly. Receive Mew's body. Okay. Now he's the one that took Mew's body. We cut it up, you know, because he ate her heart. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. Oh. We have knife. Power of knife. Nothing happened. Nothing, yeah, nothing happens, nothing happened. All right. <laughs> well, we have her body. We also need her head. Uh, for now, actually, can I go in there? Or something? I wonder if there's like a mirror, is like a mirror door? No, there's no secret passage behind the mirror. Um, anyway, we have a sharp object, so we can probably use it to cut the rope on this door. Not you use the knife and cut the knot. Oh, can't see a thing, so let me just use the power of light. Put your faith in the light. Okay. Kind of, kind of clipping through that. Uh, here's another door, I guess. Or it's not a door, it's a wooden bookshelf. Oh, that's weird. Sometimes, the, yeah, the prompt, I, I think that's a little glitchy, I think. The prompt sometimes is referring to a sealed door when it's not. Hmm, strange. Uh, some scratch marks are on the ground. You decide to push it. Oop. Easy. Okay. Let me just, like, go over here first, maybe. I want to, like, explore the room a little bit more. Hmm. I guess it's just a diary on the ground. Daria lays on the table. Diary of Father Shigeto. I know I made something terrible, but it was a, it was stronger than me. When I found her, I decided to cut her head and take it. I can hear her speak to me at night, telling me how much she loves me. You refused me, but you smiled. She looks just like her mother. Her twin sister Kuro is nothing like her. She's like her 
despicable father. How could such a man get a woman like her mother? I will do anything to make Kuro regret her existence. I keep her locked behind my bookshelf since the incident. I will keep her alive, but she will wish that she died. Uh. Okay. Great. Man, this is getting dark. Uh, I mean, I, 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 don't, I don't just, I don't mean literally. Um, I guess Kuro. I mean, aren't we Kuro? That's weird. But, you know, the, the person that we're assembling the body for is Miyu, right? And Miyu right now, we're holding Miyu, actually. But, like, Kuro is her twin sister or her daughter? Uh, hmm. Not sure. Hmm. I don't know. I guess, uh, oh, I'm not sure. Anyway. Over here. What's over here? Body bag. Blood is leaking through the bag. Receive Miyu's head. <laughs> okay. It's just a head. So, you know. Apparently, I mean, seems so far the story is like... Assuming we can trust the you know, narrator, but... Apparently... Miyu got, you know, decapitated. One person got her body, another one got her head. Diary lays in the bed. Kuro's property, don't touch. You decide to trespass the warning. All this happened because of Miu. I hate her so much I wish she died sooner. Always in her shadow. Nobody discovered it, but I am the one who killed her. I stabbed her to death and leave her body to rot. Father Shigeto got me locked up here since the incident. Nobody suspects that her own twin murdered her. Nobody will know how right it felt. Okay, so Kuro was the one that killed me, it seems. Hmm. Okay. And there, there's some kind of like, I don't know, some, uh, like some jealousy basically, as mentioned in the TV world, you know? Like Mew's mother, I assume. I guess was involved. Hmm. Well, anyway, I got, I got, I got the body parts. I guess we'll go back to the circle. Two empty circles are drawn on the ground. You put Miyu's body in place. Two empty circles. You place Miyu's head in place. Ooh, just body bags. Something happens. Whoa. So, this is how I ended up, right? What a pitiful fate. No wonder my soul was kept here all this time. And, about your past. You are the one who killed me. It's okay to remember now. I do not hate you anymore. I know how everyone treated you because of me. I knew how you felt about my future husband. If I could... I would have given it all to you. But I don't have control over how people were around me. Father was always forcing me to do all these things. I only wanted to see my sister one last time. I'm glad you came back here after all this time. Now, let's go home together. Someday we'll be together again. Okay, it just ends there. Alright. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. This is, is, is basically just very surreal. <laughs> but like, I guess Kuro killed herself. This is what I assume happened? Maybe? Hmm. But there you go. That's Kuro. Kind of a sudden ending. Um, yeah, Pretty short as well. Uh, but yeah, I enjoyed it, you know, had a really cool atmosphere to it, definitely very nostalgic in terms of its, like, tone, you know, it's like a PlayStation 1 graphics or whatever, um, and its design as well. A uh, creepy story, very dark, um, you know, uh, yeah, kind of, you know, a little disturbing as well, uh, you know, especially if you consider the implications of that story, um, I'm assuming, I guess, because, you know, I just assumed they were, like, young because of, you know, all chibis, but, you know, I, I guess not. I guess when they referred to their mother, I guess the mother wasn't, didn't play, like, a, like, a big role, necessarily. I think it was mostly Miyu, um, you know, 
Mew was the one that was like, oh, like apparently like very beautiful and all that. I think that's what it was referring to. Maybe I'm not sure. Yeah, like very beautiful and all that. You know, she was like apparently was gonna be married off to like a future husband. You know, that's what she mentioned. But then you know everyone was jealous, I guess, and like there was that one person that was jealous, found her body. You know, took her heart with her body, I guess. Um, and and Father Shigeto also took her head. I don't know. It, it, it's kind of messed up. I'm not entirely sure what the motivations are, though, to be honest. Um, I mean, there was obviously obviously that reference about that ritual, but I don't know if that's, like, very literal, you know? It could just be, like, uh, symbolic rather than, like, literally they, they wanted to sacrifice her body for a demon. I don't think that was... It was more so they, they found her body because Kuro, her twin sister, was the one that killed her. She was jealous. Um, that, you know, apparently Miyu got all the attention and everything. But Miyu herself, you know, was just a victim as well because she didn't really want to have all the attention in the first place. It's kind of sad when you think of it. It's just, it's just tragic. And I guess, um, because it, it's implied that this game takes place in a dream, though, so I'm not entirely sure. When she kills herself, did she actually kill herself? Or was that just a dream? And, like, all this was just a dream? A manifestation for guilt, maybe? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. It could also just be, like, all, you know, not real, I guess. I'm, I'm not sure. But definitely interesting. I don't know if it's going to be like a full version because it's gonna be, this is like really short. I don't know if it's going to be like an expanded version necessarily. I think I saw something like that. But I guess, uh, yeah, I'd be interested if there was. Um, you know, definitely would uh, check it out. So there you go. Uh, again, not much to say because it is pretty short. Um, yeah, it's just a quaint little game, I guess. Very disturbing, but I like it. You know, it's, it's, oh, it's just an interesting contrast as well with the main character just looking like kind of very cutesy, you know, just like a chibi, like a cute character, like a big smile. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, very, very, yeah, again, definitely very Yumaniki, you know, not, not exactly, I guess. It's, it's definitely more a little bit more linear than Yumaniki, obviously, but uh, that definitely has that vibe, you know, definitely has like kind of like a Yumaniki 3D vibe. Which, uh, by the way, wasn't there like a 3D Yumaniki? But like, it wasn't really good, you know? Or at least it wasn't like in the same style as the original Yumaniki. So it's like kind of mixed in terms of like uh, whether people not, uh, liked it. Yeah. Um, but this this one definitely does capture that, I feel like, tone to it. Like a, like a 3D Yumaniki, you know? But anyway. Um, but there you go. I guess that's it for Kuro. Um, I guess if you're on YouTube, you didn't know, I stream these games live on Twitch, so check me out over there if you're interested. I also have other playthroughs in the channel, so you can look for those if you want. Thanks for watching. Until next time, see you then.